We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Chicago White Sox. It's a battle of top tier pitchers next on the show. Into the box now, Frank Guzman. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. Hey, we got no outs. First pitch on its way. Good pitch there. Had him a oh little boy. out in front. So, fellas, this Angels team entering play here tonight. They've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, 5 and 3 in their last eight games. Yeah, Maddie, this is why we do what we do. Two first place teams going to go at it today. Don't know how this is going to shake out. Is this playoff baseball come early a little bit? Interested to see how the managers go about it. We got some stars out on the field today. Gerald has compiled over 90 innings pitched and over those innings he's allowed less than a half a run per nine innings almost unheard of. And he struck him out. Boy that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels right. All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game which is his speed but with the strikeout right there you can't get on first base if you strike out. To the plate now, Luis the Martinez. Luis. As he'll go after the first Mark pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. They'll come into play here at 319. 10 home runs and 22 RBIs. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Earl Hendricks. Hey, d -Row, Earl Hendricks, he, he's not a guy that gets a lot of complaints by either players or pitchers. He's a pretty good umpire. Yeah, Dan, Earl's got a great track record in his sport. He's pretty consistent, and overall, he's been oh. a fair umpire. Count moves to a ball and two strikes ball, now. Two strikes. We got one here. The one-two. He's at the knees and called strike three. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Batting third, no left fielder, Darius. At the plate, Darius Miro. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. The average sits at 294, eight home runs, and 29 driven in. Hey, plays at one now. Big swing at the two. knuckle curve gets nothing but air. 0 and 2 now. Hey, this guy is dialed in right now. Two strikeouts and still working ahead. This is going to be a tough test for the offense. We got two, two down. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order. One, two, three, go the White Sox. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Digging in, Trey Cabbage. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Trey Cabbage. 
Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Right. And that's in there for strike one. Your ball Very strike. rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. The wind up and the 0 1. And he gets him to swing through that two. one. He's in control 0 and 2. So and back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders hey, in a row. This guy's right slider is so good. I think he might throw it again. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And it's fouled away. And another foul ball. Another 0 2 home. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a field thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. Stepping in now, Ronald Cedeno, as he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. The average at 284 to begin play. Six home runs, and he's driven in 24. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. This one's down to third. He's got it. And a low throw to first that bounces as he can't hang on. Man, as we take another look at this in slow motion, you can see that the first baseman makes a great effort to scoop it out of the dirt. Almost had it, but it squirts out of the pocket, and the man's on board with a throwing air. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing hit. error. And the striding forward, hitter. the designated hitter, Sid Montero. Montero. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Montero tends to have more success against right-handed pitching like this than he does against southpaws. Could be a comfort thing. Maybe he just picks up the ball a little better. But that's the book on him at this point. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. Up next for Chicago, Raul Hernandez, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Hernandez. From the stretch. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Hey, no big deal. Get us out of here. Let's go. Curveball yeah. locks him up, strike three, and that's the third out. White Sox leave one, will move to the third with no score. Ready to go for the last half of the go. inning, and set White to go Sox. is the second baseman, the second baseman. Zane Beal. Zane Beal. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing and a miss as he tried to muscle up on it there. 0 and 1. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. Beal is a middle infielder by trade, of course, usually a shortstop, but they've got him at second base in this one. Yeah, Matty, this guy's got some of the best hands in the game. It doesn't matter. Shortstop, second base, you can pretty much put him wherever you want in the infield. Premium defender, up the middle defender. Looks to help out the pitching staff any way he can. Oh. 
stepping up to the plate. Jackie Michael comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. First pitch of the at bat. Take one. The 0 1 pitch. Fouled off. Now here's the pitch. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. Wow, talk about mowing him down. How about two strikeouts on six pitches? He isn't messing around, and these last two batters have had no answer for what he's throwing up there. Up next for the white side. In no now, Frank either. Guzman. Right. Yes, he'll Good take a ball. look at ball one. He went down swinging to start the home first. Two down now, two down. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. The White Sox are still looking to break into the hit column here. And it's 1 and 2. 1 and 2 the count. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. Three innings complete. Angels are out in front, one to nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next it'll be the switch hitting first baseman, Luis Martinez. Now the pitch. And a first pitch knuckle curve is a called strike. 0 and 1. Tight break with the slider there catches the inside for a strike. Up, up, up. This pitch is popped up. Petroselli over to his right, but it's the pitcher that makes the play. And there's one away now. Now batting Darius Miro. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now. 0 and 2. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Now batting. Right field. At the plate now, Trey Cabbage. This he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. The wind up and the 0 1. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Down in order go the White Sox. They still trail 1 0. So stepping in, Ronald Cedeno. He leads off from the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many early swings. They got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Hey, this guy's nasty on the mound. And to check swing and not chase that one puts himself right back in the count. 
And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Still a ball and two strikes. Come on, fellas, let's go. The one two. Liner toward right center. But this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Now at the plate, Sid Montero. Now batter. The designated hitter. Sid Montero. One down. One down. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. No runs, no hits. One error thus far for the White Sox. Fouled away. Now here it comes. Uh, and he's just rolling right now and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? And what's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Up next Into the Dodgers. box, Raul Dodgers. Hernandez. As with two away, he'll no swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hey now, we got two. We got two. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter-friendly, it's been a treat balls to watch. Up, and up. he fouls this one off. Here comes another 0-2. Good job of That's holding up on the low ball there, and it's 1-2. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the White Sox. They trail this one, one to nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Zane Beal. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. The 0 1 pitch. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location. And the big key, with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. Up next to Chicago, the catcher, Jackie. Into the box now, Michael. Jackie Michael. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Comes hey, into this at here. bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. 
got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. Ready once again, Frank Guzman. The center fielder, Frank Guzman. Here comes the first pitch. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. The wind up and the 0 1. And there's no, ball that's one. The ball. He obviously wanted that call on the corner, but if he continues to put the ball right there, he's going to get that call and he's going to keep pitching as well as he is. No runs, no hits. One error thus far for the White Sox. A ball and two strikes to one count two. now with the bases empty and two away. Wow, that was an ugly swing right there, and that tells us all we need to know. Nobody's picking the baseball up off this guy. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Plays it first here. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Down in order go the White Sox. They're down one nothing. Leading off the inning, Luis Martinez. And they'll need him to get something going here. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball. Hey, no outs. No outs now. Now the 1 0 is offered at and missed for the one first one. strike. Now the one and one pitch is strike two swinging. One and two is the count. The one two. Another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain Go about it. Number 32, Gary Nero. Hey, come on now. Let's go. To the plate now, Darius Miro, as he tries to go out and get the slider, oh but it's not there. It's strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here we got one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he's no in the hole 0 2 now. 
He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. Now batting. So right now to the plate, Trey Play. Cabbage. As he'll yeah. watch a knuckleball that dances its way in there for strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Down now, here we go. On, could we see another strikeout here? It's 0 and 2 now. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Seven no-hit innings now as he closes in on his masterpiece. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Angels one and the White Sox nothing. Leading off the inning, Ronald Cedeno, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. One, one. one ball, one strike to count. The 1-1 one, one. takes a pitch two. for strike number two. One and two Tying run count. stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Ronald Cedeno becomes the first out in the bottom of the eighth inning. Up next for the White Sox, the designated hitter, Jim Montero. One out, one out. Plays are one here. Stepping in now, Sid Montero, as he yeah. takes a called strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. No hits to this point. A swinging strike and oh, now it's 0 and 2. You see there the pitch count is up to 88 and at this point in the game that's a good place to be so I think we'll see him stay out there for at least a little while longer. Protecting on 0 and 2 so we'll do it again. Bases are empty one man out. Got him for an even 20 strikeouts now thus far as he's just been flat unhittable. Well a huge out number two here at the eighth. Four outs remain, but the finish line is starting to come into focus now. Striding into the box, Raul Hernandez. Only four outs remaining for them to try and rally back in this one. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. Yeah. I think I'd take that one too. It's 0 and 2 Let's now. Let's go. And he struck him out. So he's now through eight full innings and will take his no hit bid into the ninth. 1 2 3 go the White Sox. They trail things here 2 to nothing. Ready now, Zane Beal. He'll oh, lead he things Go off here as we play the bottom the of the ninth. Baseman, Zane Beal. Right now. <laughs> Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here, what? Right. 
right by him here, and he's set up for another strikeout here. The count to 0 and 2. Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit pitchers' pitchers like that one down and away. There's no success in that. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Zane Beal is sent packing for the first out in the bottom of the ninth. Up next to the white side. At the plate, Jackie Michael has the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Mm, got him out on his front foot. It's 0 and 2. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. And another strikeout as nobody can touch him in this one. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Up next at the Chicago. plate now, Frank Guzman. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Hey, and the beat goes on. That's number eight. Two run game, last of the night with two away. The White Sox down to their last strike. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Ready with another two-strike offering. Swing and a miss, and he's got it. A no-hitter. Well, it's something that every pitcher who's ever picked up a baseball dreams about, and he's done it. A no-hit gem in one of the most dominant performances I've seen in a while. He's in the record books forever now. Well, obviously, after a no-hitter, there's not a whole lot of debate as to the identity of our tops player of the game. Yeah, probably the easiest player of the game decision we'll have to make all year. He got some help along the way from his defense, but all in all, this was his show. And he winds up in the history books with a no-hitter.